everybody, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. I'm so sorry if I have to stay a little bit quiet. Um, my mom is asleep in the room next door, so try and turn up the volumes, put on your headphones, whatever you need to do. So today's fun facts is uh, Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse's Mr. Mouse Takes a Trip. Enjoy! There is a video of both Walt Disney and Billy Bletcher in a recording session for this short. Some of Pete's lines from this short are also heard in Get a Horse. In this short, Mickey's shoes are brown rather than the trademark yellow. A number of scenes from the short were edited out due to time constraints when it was aired on Disney Channel's Have a Laugh segment. The train station that Mickey and Pluto arrive at is located in Burbank, California, which also happens to be the home of Walt Disney Production Headquarters. The short features original music by Frank Churchill and Oliver Wallace. In September 1940, a one-page adaptation of Mr. Mouse Takes a Trip appeared in Good Housekeeping magazine. In this version, Pete discovers Pluto by seeing his tail sticking out of the suitcase. Instead of being kicked off the train, Mickey and Pluto are confined to the baggage car. The story was told in verse and was illustrated by Tom Wood. In October 1940, a prose version of Mr. Mouse Takes a Trip was printed in the first edition of Walt Disney Comics and Stories. This five-page version is a closer retelling of the film, with the added detail that Mickey is heading to an important meeting in Pomona, which he can't be late for. Pluto comes along only because he wanted to get, he would get lonely if he stayed home alone. And those are your fun facts for Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse, Mr. Mouse Takes a Trip. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe.